Hello and welcome. Today we will be conducting an experiment on which method of growing your tomatoes will be faster and which will develop shoots faster. So here I have a simple grocery store bought tomato. I also have two pots here filled with garden soil. And what we're going to do is we're going to test the two ways, one with slices and the other with the actual seeds of the tomato. So we're going to use a strainer and some water to take the seeds out of our tomato and we're going to plant it into the pot directly versus just using the slices without taking the seeds out. This is a very common trend on YouTube where they show you that you can grow tomatoes quicker with just the slices without having to take out the seeds manually like so or buying them at the store. I want to try that out and I want to see if it's actually true. So I'm just going to wash my seeds through this pot here. As you can see on my, on my little device here it shows that it's March 29 at around 9 at night. So this is how you know that this experiment is not false. So right now I'm just going to wash out my seeds. And I'm just going to put them in to my pot here. I'm going to bury them in the soil. And then now I'm just going to take slices of my tomato and put them on top or inside of the soil like those experiments show you or those other YouTube videos show you. Okay, so now with that I've got my slices in, I'm just going to cover it with garden soil. So I just have some garden soil here. I'm just going to put it over. Now I'm just going to water both of my pots. And then I'm just going to put the plastic over. And just a reminder, I have both of my pots in a plastic container since the water will leak through the bottom. And the plastic also acts as a, almost gives off a greenhouse effect. But I will see you back when I see some sprouting, so stay tuned. Welcome back. It is currently April 3rd and it has been four days, today is the fifth day, since our experiment. So here we have our two pots. We have the one with the slices. we have the one with the simple seeds. Now the whole point of this experiment was to debunk the idea that just simply putting slices into your pot is quicker than taking the seeds out. And I can tell you that right now, as you can see here, it's all fungi and it's all rot. It's all rotten and we don't know exactly how this is going to affect the growth. Of course, in nature, tomatoes fall off the vine. Of course, in nature, tomatoes fall off the vine and they rot and then they grow back naturally that way. But in this case, we don't know how the rot affects the seeds and their growth. 
So we just want to debunk the idea that this is quicker and a more effective method. As you can see here, it's all rotten, and these are for sure the slices, versus in this pot that I have here, on the other side, we have seeds, and we already see sprouting happening. And this has only been four days. It's only been four days. Today is the fifth day. And this is this was just sitting on my windowsill under sunlight. So here we already have sprouting. And this just fully debunks the idea that the slices are more effective and they grow faster when they don't. The sprouting here have clearly happened before the slices. In order for the slices to begin sprouting, it has to rot away and then it needs to begin growing. We don't know, once again, how that affects the seeds of the tomato. Of course, this is like it's done in nature, but it is way more effective and much quicker if you take the seeds out of your tomato first and then plant them in like I did here. So as you can see here, we have already 20 sprouts in this pot in four days, which is exponentially much larger than the other pot here. So I'm going to continue to conduct this experiment and I will show you how long exactly it takes for these tomatoes to grow from slices versus how long and how far my seeds will go. So I will put this tomato back into my pot here and we will continue to monitor its growth. Once again, it is April 3rd, Friday, April 3rd, and we will be back to show you how this continues to grow. This is another update. It is currently April 6th, and you see here, we have our pots with the slices. And as you can see here, we do have a few small shoots, and I am going to take the slice out so you can take a look at what happened inside. As you can see here, as you can see here, we do have the slices and we only have a few shoots. We don't know what happened to the rest of the seeds. Everything had to rot through, as you can see. So, And in comparison to the, our other one, our other pot here, the one with the direct seeds, with the strained seeds, just the seeds, not the slices, we have already gained about 20 more shoots. So that's around 40 now. We have around 40, 50 shoots in total. So as you can see here, this method is much more effective in comparison to the one with the slices. It has been about a little bit more than a week, and we only have two shoots versus this one with the regular seeds, the old traditional method, and we have around 40 shoots, which is so much more effective than the one with the slices. So as you can see here, we do have these rotten pieces, and we only have a few shoots, and I can only find a few seeds, barely anything, and I believe that can be the result of the fact that the tomatoes had to rot, which in turn could have damaged some of the seeds. So it would take a much longer time for these, the seeds to actually begin touching the soil and begin to grow. And in comparison to our other pot, as you can see here, we started off with about 25 shoots and now we added about another 20. So do not use the slice method as convenient and as easy it might seem. I would suggest putting in the extra effort to strain the seeds like I did and to get the seeds directly out of the the tomato and to plant them directly into the soil without any extra tomato flesh. It would save you a lot of time and give you a much better result. Many more shoots. So we will be posting a video which will basically be outlining how to take care of such a big, big plant and all these sprouts here and how to grow them and how to transfer them from a pot into the outside, into the garden. So thank you so much for watching. Leave any comments, questions, or concerns below and don't forget to subscribe.